<clears throat> People of Okido, as you know, I love art. And I also love the sea. So I had a very clever idea, if I do say so myself, to ask Okido's most famous artist to make us a lovely piece of art all about the sea. So, without further ado, allow me to introduce the amazing, the wonderful, the talented Ginny! Oh, oh and you've got till tea time. Oh, tea time? But who shall be my model? Yes, of course! Oh, Zim, you shall be my model. Hmm, it's not very shiny. It's not very big, either. Hmm, you're right. Ouch! But what can I use now? I need something that really has sea in it. Seaweed! Is it bits of sea? It's salt crystals. A little help, please. Salt is one of the most common minerals in the whole world. And the sea has lots of salt dissolved in it. You can't see the salt. It's mixed up in the water. But when seawater dries out, in sunshine, for example, the water evaporates, leaving the salt molecules behind. They stick together to make tiny crystals. These crystals are sparkly and shiny because the light bounces off all their different sides and edges. But you don't just get salt crystals at the seaside. You can also get them underground, in places that millions of years ago used to be under the sea. Bring me salt! What about the crystals you said were underground? Oh, yes. <laughs> Bala, bala, <laughs> Sparkly, shiny crystals. Sparkly. Ooh. Well then, are we ready now? Ta -da! Well, it's certainly shiny. And, uh... uh <laughs> people of Okido. Never in my life have I so shiny, sparkly, and full of the very seaness of the sea. Congratulations, Zinni and Zim, hero of Okido. Time I was going home. Bye. Bye, Bye Zim. Zim.